So the other day, uh, John Kerry is having a press conference, and CBS correspondent Margaret Brennan decides to ask him a question. It's a pretty good question, and it winds up perhaps changing the whole world. Let's look at that question and answer. Is there anything at this point that his government could do or offer that would stop an attack? Uh, sure, he could turn over every single bit of his chemical weapons to the international community in the next week. Turn it over, all of it, uh, without delay, and allow a full and total accounting for that. Uh, but he isn't about to do it, and it, it can't be done, obviously. He just kind of said that off the cuff, right? And it didn't seem like he planned it, and at the end, he was like backpedaling a little bit. I mean, I mean, he can't do that, so I mean, <laughs> don't be ridiculous, right? And then the Russians were like, okay, deal, we got it. And the Syrians said, deal, famously, over the next two days. So now the question is, did they plan that? Now here comes the White House coming around and saying, no, 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 we've been planning that all along. Oh, come on, really? Here's President Obama in a recent interview. And now we're hearing news that Russia has a plan, uh, a solution perhaps, which would allow Syria to take all of its weapons and right. put it under international control. Is that something that you've had any conversations at all with President Putin about when you were in St. Petersburg last week? Uh, I did have those conversations. And this is a continuation of conversations I've had with President Putin for quite some time. And I think it is reasonable to assume that we would not be at this point if there were not a credible military threat standing behind the norm against the use of chemical weapons. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been talking to Pooty Poot for a long time about that. I mean, I, shoot, I had that idea like a year ago. <laughs> get, get, come on man, that's even beyond me. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, yeah, oh I said that first, yeah, oh sure you did. Sure you did, okay? Now we know that that's not true for two reasons. Once the State Department, before Russia accepted and Syria accepted, thought that they had, uh, Kerry had made a massive mistake, so they clarified all the reporters. That was just a rhetorical answer, not real. It was not a real offer, it was just, quote, rhetorical. Now they're pretending like they meant it. Now, that's not all though. A White House official told CNN that John Kerry had committed a, quote, a major goof. <laughs> which could describe Kerry in a lot of ways, and that he had, quote, clearly gone off script. So they didn't mean it. I want to give all the credit in the world to Margaret Brennan for asking that question, because it turns out if you challenge the government and you ask the right questions, you never know what it leads to. It led to a really interesting answer, which then led to a whole different turn of events, and they're now in the middle of changing the legislation in the United States Congress to change the wording of the authorization so that we can accept the UN deal and the, and the Russian and the Syrian deal that all these people at least on the record have been saying that they're willing to accept which is to get rid of Syria's chemical weapons in return for not attacking Syria. Thank God she asked the question and <laughs> thank God John Kerry did a major goof which turned out to be awesome for us. And look, one last thing. I'm making fun of the Obama administration here because they roundly deserve it for pretending they meant it all along. But if in the end they choose the path of diplomacy, great. Now, Dick Cheney would have never chosen the path of diplomacy because he didn't want it. He wouldn't have taken the deal, we know, because Iran had offered him a great deal on uh, take, get rid, getting rid of their nuclear arsenal, etc., and he had rejected it. Okay? So Cheney and Bush would not have gone in this direction. So no matter who's Credit it is, if Obama in the end resorts to diplomacy instead of war, great. Give everybody credit for doing the right thing.